Hey, Sojourn Montrose family, Pastor Reed here with a quick Monday update. We're doing this on Monday instead of Wednesday because our prim primary announcement this week is an invitation to you to join us tonight um, at 8 p.m. on Zoom for our Monday night prayer gathering. Tonight, we're going to spend a good amount of time praying for our city as we continue to walk through being a hot spot uh, during the pandemic, a recent hot spot. And we're going to pray for injustice in our city as well. But a big chunk of tonight will be a time for you to bring prayer requests that you might have in your personal life. So we're going to spend time in smaller groups on the Zoom call, praying for one another um, and lifting one another's burdens up to the Lord. And finally, we're going to pray uh, all together for the lost in our lives, those who don't know Jesus in a way that's saved. So I want you to be thinking about those folks and bring those names tonight as we prepare to pray and really ask the Lord to, uh, to move by his spirit in the lives of those we know and love. Um, so that's what tonight's gonna look like. I'd love for you to join us at 8 p.m. via Zoom for our Monday night prayer gathering. Aside from that, we don't have any big new updates. Um, my biggest encouragement for you this week is to press into community, run towards one another, um, confess sins with one another, con or share praises with one another, um, check in on one another, continue to be the church. We, uh, we have been so blessed to see the way our church has cared for uh, one another, how you guys have really cared for one another in this season, and so we, can, we continue to encourage you to do that. Um, you know, this letter that we're walking through on Sundays, First Peter, is really about suffering, and we know that a lot of you um, and us included are experiencing suffering in this season, whether it's isolation, uh, anxiety, depression, um, or just ready to get back to normalcy, a sense of normalcy. And so one of the best ways we combat those things is by caring for one another. And it doesn't mean that it removes the suffering, but it does mean that we're not alone in that suffering. So my encouragement to us this morning is that we would run towards one another in community um, and that when we do get back to any sense of normalcy or new normalcy, we'll be stronger for it. We will be uh, relationally stronger um, and more loving, more caring, a, a better community that reflects um, the gospel of who Jesus is and what he has done. So a big step in that direction is to join us tonight in praying with one another uh, for one another. So join us tonight at 8. We hope to see you there.